Hi everyone and welcome to the quick overview of the climate data feature in PredictWind. To find the climate data we come down here to tools and then climate data. Okay and we open up in the climate data page and we see all these wind roses. So if you're familiar with a pilot chart this is a digital up-to-date version of a pilot chart. Uh, it gives you Average, monthly average data for anywhere in the world um, and on, and on any given month. Um, so it's a pretty amazing data set that we've uh, managed to put together here. It uses the ECMWF uh, data which we average every day and then for every month of the year. Um, and you, as you can see, if I scroll around here, it's literally anywhere in the world uh, we have this data. And if you zoom in on it, you get more detailed data. So the further you zoom in, uh, the more detail you get. Until you get closer than a 30 kilometer square. The, the highest resolution is 30 kilometers, but you can see here, you know, we're zooming in quite far and we get differences in the climate data. So how do I use this? What do I look at? Um, so if we click on one of these wind roses, you'll see that um, for the month of October, it's predominantly easterlies. Um, and this uh, each segment, this is 5 to 10 knots, there's a 23% prob probability that, that it will be an easterly direction of 5 to 10 knots within the month. Um, then I can look at the 10 to 15 knots, 25%, and it is only 6% of being in the 15 to 20 knot range. This here is the daytime averages, and the bottom row is the nighttime averages. Um, you won't see any difference in SST uh, because they don't change, uh, but really between day and night. Air temp, um, some places you'll see it more than others. Sometimes you might see it rains at night and um, not during the day. And so, yeah, we can look at all that sort of thing. Uh, great for getting detail if you were going to have a uh, holiday somewhere and you wanted to see if that was a good time of the year to go. Uh, does it rain much there? Is it windy? How hot is it? Uh, how cloudy is it? Uh, you know, and is it is it is it windy? Um, so, pretty cool information. Um, how this data is traditionally used is you uh, can look at uh, doing crossings, um, places that you might go to at particular times. What are those common wind directions? Um, and if I come scroll, uh, sorry, move the months across, you'll see that, you know, I go to December and it's quite easy to see why a lot of people do this crossing here um, in December and, you know, in the months either side. Um, keep scrolling through and you see different patterns start to emerge. So I can look at any month of the year um, and see that 10 year average. Something that is very cool about this is that it's always kept up to date. So every month that an old month has dropped off from 10 years ago and the new month is added in and the new calculations are done. So it is the freshest uh, historical data you can get if that makes any sense. Um, and we can you know keep Keep, keep this data up to date uh, automatically. So we're not looking at a 30 year old book or 40 year old book. We've actually got up to date real information. So we were looking at the wind roses. We do also have wave roses. And you can see here that if I get the same sort of information if I wanna click on a wave rose. Obviously we, they stop when I get into uh, onto land, but we do have some here for the, uh, the Great Lakes. Um, but yeah, I'll click on one of these and we'll have a look. Same sort of thing, have the wave rows and it shows me the uh, probability uh, in that month of waves coming from a particular direc direction. 
So other use cases for this would be if I was, as I said, going on a holiday, doing passages, looking at places where you're going to spend extended periods of time. Does it, do, you know, what are there times of the year where it gets pretty uh, unpleasant or does it rain a lot or, or whatever? Uh, going to, um, you know, you're going to a new venue for a, a yachting regatta or some other event. You can actually go to that location, zoom right in on that location, let's say, you know, you were coming, you know, you were going to Sorrento in Australia to do some uh, foiling. Um, you can zoom in on there and you can see. Uh, I've been there and um, sailed in uh, January. And that's what's cool about this spot is that you do get the, uh, the, 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 the breeze coming over here. And so you end up with uh, really flat water and in here um, with the uh, strong wind coming over the top. So yeah, great great thing for that to, to prepare for any sort of event um, and look at that. So that's pretty much it. A very, very cool uh, data set in there um, that you can use and check out any location in the world. Thanks very much.